If you've already had COVID-19, are you safe from getting it again going forward? The answer is we don't know. As researchers and doctors learn more about it, they're starting to think the further removed you are from getting the virus, the better chance you have of getting it again. We think uh, early after someone's infected, they have antibodies probably at least for about 12 weeks. There have been some encouraging signs. Studies are showing some other parts of the immune system, mainly T cells, probably play an important role in protecting people. But that's still not the only way we'll get out of this. Immunity is the answer, not necessarily antibodies. They think we probably need 60 to 70 percent of people to have some degree of immunity in order for the pandemic to subside. 60 to 70 percent sounds like a big number. Um, but in something like the measles, you need to have more than 90% of the population vaccinated to get that kind of group immunity. There are currently more than 130 vaccines in preclinical trials, and a number have made it through several phases. One of them is likely our best bet of reaching that group immunity threshold. We'd rather get that immunity through a vaccine than from actually acquiring the f infection because acquiring the infection is dangerous. It may put you in the hospital. It may kill you. That being said, there is a reason areas which were hit hardest at the beginning of the pandemic are now faring better than where there are new hotspots. The amount of immunity in a place like New York City is higher than in parts of the country where the virus has not been as active yet. At Navant Health, they've been treating people with several medicines. The healthcare system has had seven different clinical trials. We're waiting on the results of some of those studies that give us you know, more guidance on the best uh, mode of treatments. They're also giving the most ill patients convalescent plasma, which is plasma donated from someone who's had the virus. A lot of the knowledge we have about convalescent plasma or the use of plasma in the treatment of coronavirus is based on other types of infection. Still, there haven't been enough studies, they say, to show how well that works with COVID-19. We need people's immune systems to recognize this virus and fight it off. The virus mutating is always a concern. Sometimes those mutations uh, make a virus um, not as dangerous, and sometimes they make a virus more dangerous. And they've already seen some of it, but not a whole lot. We think those mutations may not have made it um, more deadly or make people more sick, but it may those mutations may have made it more easy to transmit. So the most realistic way to put a stop to it is seemingly riding on not only when a vaccine comes, but also when they can make sure it's safe. We are pulling out all the stops on every possible new treatment. Uh, we're waiting for those vaccines to come so that patients get um, everything they can possibly get to get them better.